What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and tonight I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! news for you guys. It's almost midnight over here, so give me a like for staying up late. I'm an old man these days. I have hit my 30s. I've been 30, I guess, for a while, but still, I'm an old man, so I, do, I deserve it, right? Anyway, a new Blue Eyes White Dragon structure deck is on the horizon. We already knew that it was announced, but we actually have some of the cards now and what the structure deck looks like. Um, I think it's coming out pretty soon for Japan, obviously. I don't think we got a release date in English yet. But it being a blue eyes structure deck, I feel like it's pretty safe to say that we're going to get this. I could see it being, like, out in December. Because, what was it, last year? I think that's when we got the Fire King structure deck. was, like, the 7th of December. I could see this, honestly, being around that time. So, nothing confirmed, but I wouldn't worry about it, to be honest. So, we're going to talk about the new cards, but here's, like, all the reprints, too. Because I want to point out, this structure deck's pretty awesome. Because you're actually getting three copies of blue eyes. That's really cool. I kind of hope they go with, you know, three different artworks. Um, then also you're getting Jet Dragon, Abyss, Alternative. Those aren't the toughest to get, but still good. But what is neat is Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon is actually reprinted in this because that card's kind of expensive. I think it's like $15 last time I checked. It's been reprinted once as like a promo, but it's from like the Legendary Duelist set and it kind of needs a reprint. So that's nice. And you got Chaos Max here. The only thing that's really missing is Magia. If, if somehow, you know, we got this structure deck with Magia, I would... I, well, that just wouldn't happen, <laughs> I don't think. I just really, it, it, it would be too good, right? But I, I wish they could throw it in somehow for us, but uh, it's a good structure deck. Even Sage of the Blue, three copies, Dictator of D, Ultimate Fusion, I, even a Melody of Awakening Dragon at two copies is pretty nice. So it looks like it's going to be a good structure deck in just terms of reprints even. But let's talk about these new cards because we have a new Blue Eyes Ultimate that's a Synchro Monster. So... Yeah, Blue Eyes is getting even more support, some amazing support. Let's talk about it. Of course, too, links will be down in the description. And, of course, too, when this set is out in English, I'm going to open it up with the structure deck, I guess I should say. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out. And I do plan to do more news videos in the future, even with a crying baby in the background. I'll still do it. So, yeah, subscribe, please. Anyway, Blue Eyes Spirit Ultimate Dragon. Light Dragon Synchro, level 12, 3,500 attack, 4,000 defense. Pretty crazy, actually, on that. And uh, it requires two tuners and one non-tuner blue eyes monster. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each per turn. Your opponent cannot banish cards from your graveyard. When a uh, card or effect is activated on the field, quick effect, you can negate the activation. And if you do, this card gains 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one light dragon monster from your graveyard, except for uh, blue eyes spirit ultimate dragon. So it can't bring itself back out. Yeah, I mean, this card has some pretty interesting effects. First, being able to keep your opponent from banishing cards from your graveyard is pretty awesome. I guess that would even work like Called by the Grave and stuff, right? So, yeah, that can work out for a variety of things. It's not even just protecting blue-eyed cards, you know? It, it's anything. So that's pretty nice, and you don't really want your blue eyes and stuff to be banished anyway. I also like how it has negation effect that also powers it up. So then it will be as strong as the original blue eyes ultimate, making it that 4,500 no negative on that pretty dang awesome i gotta say so that is sick and then of course if that wasn't enough gets destroyed by anything then you get a new light dragon so that gives you a variety of different things i mean i think even magia could count under that right i, I think it's a light dragon so if you happen to summon it before which really isn't that hard to summon um there you go i mean that could be another card for you like that so yeah that, that that's a good card and not that hard to synchro summon either. I've already heard about some people using Centurion. Like, is the idea I've seen floated around. All right, next up we have our new Maiden, which is Maiden of White, Light Spellcaster Tuner Effect, uh, level one, zero attack and defense. So kind of the usual really on that. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Place one true light from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell or trap card zone. If you special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. When a card or effect is activated that targets a card on the field, or when this card is targeted for an attack, quick effect, you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon or one level one light tuner from your graveyard. So this is your setup card, like like always. I mean, it's, it's the same old song, really, for the maiden. She is Blue Eyes. So, yeah, it, it's really that simple. Where basically uh, you're able to get true light, which is essentially the eternal soul equivalent, you know, eternal souls for uh, eternal soul, excuse me, blah, is for dark magician, 
and True Light is for Blue Eyes. So, you know, it's it's the equivalent really on that, which is it's actually a really good card. Then you can also even just get a free special summon, which is normal with her. And then you could even go for another special summon or get a light level one tuner monster. So that could even give you a free sage if you wanted to. I mean, I feel like that's normally what you would go for. This one also being a really good level one tuner monster as well. Yeah, I mean, she's your setup card. I mean, it's kind of does what I expected. I mean, the Maiden with Eyes of Blue has always done that in every iteration. So, of course, yeah, this is a really good one. So, there you go. Get out your blue eyes. Then we also have Prayers with Eyes of Blue. This is a normal spell card. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Discard one card. Add one uh, level one light tuner. Add one uh, spell or trap that mentions uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand, except for Prayers with Eyes of Blue. And then also, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Blue-Eyes White Dragon you control, equip one Blue-Eyes Monster from your extra deck to it as an equip spell that gives it 400 attack. A little random on that last part, but I think I understand why they're doing that, because first off, you have a searching effect, which is good. I mean, there's a lot of cards in Blue-Eyes you don't mind discarding. You get to search, you can go for, like, the Sage, you can go for the New Maiden, whatever, you know, and the Spell of Trap searching, too, is nice, obviously. I mean, you're, you're able to set up for things, which is good. But I love how this card is still useful even when it's in the graveyard to banish. I always like cards that do that because doing this with like Blue Eyes Ultimate, I think would make it easier to bring out Magia. Again, I know I keep bringing up Magia, but it is actually a really good card for Blue Eyes. It's a shame it's a $600 card for us in the TCG. I, I'm, I'm kind of spiteful on that one, to be honest. I, I'll admit, I, I think it should have also been like a secret rare. But um, yeah, if you would send a Blue Eyes Ultimate, which is something normally in like the deck that I've ran that I've used it, you're using Dogmatica, this could be a better way of doing it. Yeah, that no one cares about the 400 attack and all that. You're just being able to get a Blue Eyes Ultimate to the graveyard essentially is what you want to do. And then you can set up for, for Magia, basically. So I think that's the idea here without having to use Dogmatica. So pretty cool. And I'm sure there's other strategies too. But again, it's almost midnight and I'm an old man. Saga of the Blue-Eyed Dragon, another normal spell card. Uh, you can only use the, you can only use one, excuse me, of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. Special summon one Blue-Eyes monster from your deck, graveyard, or banishment in defense position, but you can only special summon Blue-Eyes White Dragon with this effect if you do not control it. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck the rest of this turn except for dragon monsters. And the second effect is, you can banish this card from your graveyard, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a blue eyes monster. So essentially, it's a free blue eyes, I mean, if you don't already have one. So that's nice. I mean, you know, you kind of have that on there. I like the second effect, though, because it's like, okay, fusion summon, which is kind of funny, seeing as this structure deck is, again, more about synchro summoning, you know, that, that's kind of how the last one was, too. But yeah, it's about fusion summoning, which again makes me think of, well, all the fusions we have. We have the other Blue Eyes Ultimates. You can go with the original, you go for the Neo one, the alternative, uh, Tyrant Blue Eyes, uh, Magia, obviously. I mean, there's there's a lot of options. So yeah, seems like a pretty good card. I mainly like that second effect though. And yeah, that is everything we know of so far from this. I don't know if this is all the new cards that are in it. I kind of feel like there's probably more, but I could be wrong. So if there is more, I'll make a video on it. But just with this alone, it's worth picking up. And Blue Eyes is Blue Eyes. It's always going to sell. It's always going to do well. So let me know what you guys think about it. If you're excited about it or not or whatever, however you feel on it. Probably a Dark Magician one then around the corner. And uh, if we could just get Red Eyes, you know, the best of the three that would be nice, okay? I, I'm a little bit partial to Red Eyes, so forgive me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Like I said, that just helps out tremendously. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.